Hello and welcome to tutorial number 30. Uh, today I'll be talking about upgrading from a previous Community Builder 1.9.1 environment. Uh, I'm bringing this up because there are a lot of people that are just uh, confused about what they should expect and how they should proceed to upgrade. So what I've done is I've I have a test site that has community builder 1.9 on it I mean you can see how it looks it's the old environment and I've also installed uh, some of the extra add-ons just to illustrate what happens during upgrade so for example uh, if we look in the plugin management list we'll see that I've installed the bootstrap template which is a paid uh, add-on which used to be a paid add-on now it's basically uh, incorporated into the default community builder 2.0 template and I've also installed CB blogs and the rating field plugin both these are now part of community builder uh, 2.0 so I mean I've installed them here just so you see what the upgrade process will do. Uh, in addition to these, uh, notice that there are some plugins that are not published here. For example, the Yank newsletter, the Mambo blog. I mean, these are old depreciated plugins. So when Community Builder 2.0 is installed, these should be automatically removed. It's just some an example. And also, since the rating field is now part of uh, Community Build 2.0, there's no need for this extra plugin because it's, it's a standard uh, field type now. So this should also be removed when I upgrade. Hopefully, during the demonstration where I'm going to be upgrading, what I'm saying now will take place. Uh, but I'm just telling you what I'm expecting when I upgrade here. And these templates here, the default, well, actually the Win Classic, WebFX, OSX, Luna, Dark, they'll be actually removed because uh, we've opted to go for the bootstrap route. And if you want different colorings here, you just have to basically create a template override. We'll cover that in a different uh, tutorial. But with Community Builder 2.0.3, now it's really easy to create a template override. But of course, you need some CSS skills to do anything with templates. Okay, uh, let's look at what we have actually installed here. Extension Manager, Manage. Let's just search for Community Builder here. And we see we have the Community Builder component. The Community Builder admin menu. This is what's showing up here. And we see the version of the component is 191. The version of the admin menu is 1.0. And I've also installed the community builder author bot, which used to be, which is 1.0.1. Uh, there are some other CB related uh, add ons the CB login module, 1.9.1, the CB online, 1.9.1. CB workflows, one another one, and the CB core redirect, which is 1.0.1. Okay, I'm anticipating after upgrade, these version numbers should change for sure. And let's just go to the front end and see what things look like. I have a test article in place just to test that my author bot actually goes to the profile and the article shows up here in my articles tab back and forth. This is what the profile looks like. I've turned on uh, connections so you see how the tabs look and everything. When you update the profile you'll see that the image gallery is this old gallery. We'll also see that our edit drop-down has update profile and update your image. The update your image is going to be dropped because updating an image is really part of updating your profile. And I also created a user list here. Simple 
three column list that's how it looks like in community builder 1.9.1 one. okay uh, let's go back now and actually do an upgrade so extension extension manager choose I'm going to find the latest community builder release here which the latest stable release I'm just showing you here nightly builds uh, paid members get nightly builds of uh, our software so I'm the latest stable is 2.0.3 I selected it upload and install it's done so before looking in the front end let's take a look at what happened in the back end so community builder here now if I go I see it's a different it's a different admin navigation there's no icons here anymore so I can go to the configuration area it's been upgraded correctly and I see it's 2.0.3 uh, let's go to the extensions extension manager and go to manage search for community builder and I see now the component is 2.0.3 the admin navigation module is now 2.0.3 we have a community builder library the login module 2.0.3 the online the package is a package because I installed a single package now I didn't have to go through installing the component the modules and so on there's a community builder system plugin 2.0.3 that's actually uh, has grabbed the core redirect it's part it's it's in, it's included the core redirect functionality is included in this system plugin now CB workflows and the author bot still shows 1.0.1 because that is not part of core we have to upgrade that in the future and I'll show you how to do that uh, actually I don't have to show you there's a tutorial search back the, the plugin lists and there's a tutorial that shows you how to install and configure this so I'm not going to touch this for now great so everything seems to be upgraded let's go to community builder plugins and see what happened what has happened there here we go we see the list is much smaller uh, the bootstrap template has been removed the CB blogs has been upgraded all those yank and mambo blog have been removed the rating plugin has been removed because it's now part of the core okay so this is just so you can expect and also you see the layout we now have the version number of the plugin and we see that everything here is compatible with community builder 2.0 otherwise you would see a, a yellow x here or something or a yellow exclamation mark let's take a look at what's happened in the front end now okay so let me just refresh this we see that the CB login module now has a different styling and I'm not sure if this will work actually it has it does work but we see the profile it's kind of not what we expected <laughs> so we see everything has been really moved around here uh, the first thing that we need to do is go back to community builder and go in the community builder tools and we'll see the tools now there's another tool here say, saying load canvas layout and basically what this does is it moves around the uh, previous tabs into the layout position that we've designed for 2.0 so if you don't want to do this manually you can just go ahead and click this tool it'll give you a pop-up warning and you just say okay it'll tell you which tab IDs and field IDs it's moved around you can close that and now if I go to the front end and refresh this page here much better it took the a different default icon it shows up the canvas background correctly contact info articles tab 
and the connections in the, this area here. And we see that there's no longer a community menu here. Instead, there's a powered by community builder footer, which can be removed with a paid subscription. Uh, and we see the edit no longer has update image, just update profile. Let's just go ahead and do an update profile. And we see they have the canvas image. We have built in libraries, if you want, for the canvas. You can select something. You go to the portrait, and you can actually click select image from gallery. You see that we still have the old images here because somebody might have used that on your website, so they're not removed. Uh, but the new images here, the gallery images, are appended or added. You can go ahead and manually move this from the back end if you want. It's quite simple to find and remove them. As long as uh, you're, you're sure that nobody in your community has actually selected one of these for their avatar. Okay, uh, I think I've covered things. Uh, so at least people, when they upgrade, they know what to expect and what to search for and see the differences. The Canvas tool is a very important aspect here you should run. Uh, one other thing you should look at here in Community Builder, let's just go to the configurations quickly. One thing, since we're using Bootstrap now, uh, it's basically part of the default template. There's nothing else showing up here. It's removed. And the template output should be set to divs. If yours is not, make sure you set it because it'll really help the way uh, user lists, for example, are styled in the front end. So let me just go actually and look at my user list here. See, it's a little, a little nicely, you know, differently styled here. But without the div mode, you won't be able to do grid layouts and so on. Okay, this went pretty well. <laughs> uh, I hope this helps people moving from Community Builder 1.9.1 to Community Builder 2.0, which is has lots of previously commercial plugins now built in for free. Uh, and you can actually take advantage of that. Uh, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next tutorial. Bye-bye.